My name is Kathy, and I'm 22 years old, working at a law firm. I have always had a boring appearance. I'm not exciting, just plain and ordinary. Unlike my younger twin sister Izzy, who was a shining bright star, being fraternal twins meant that we shared everything, just not our looks. Izzy was loud and confident, while I was reserved and chill. It was hard to get along with each other because of that. She was an attention seeker. Craving it from our peers and parents, my mom and dad doted on her, and sometimes I felt like they just tolerated me. After high school, I had a falling out with her over a makeover. She wanted to change my appearance so that she could post us together for her social media accounts. But I never cared for that type of stuff. She had blown up in my face and told me I was ugly. She ran to our parents and made a massive lie about how I never was nice to her. When they took her side, I decided it was time for me to leave. I applied for an apartment near the college I was accepted to, and I concluded to make my path the best it could be. I met a guy named Tristan in an econ class. He was a business major. He was breathtakingly confident, and drew me in with a cool charm. After meeting his parents, he wanted me to introduce him to my family. When my sister met Tristan, I could see her become jealous. After that, she put all the flirtatious moves she could on him. He eventually succumbed to my sister, and called me over the phone to break up. You're breaking up with me over the phone? <sighs> That's super cowardly. No, no, I'm not good enough for you. Ah, so you're trying to make me break up with you? I see. He explains to me that he fell in love with my sister of all people, and that they both have similar values. I felt betrayed by my sister. Even if we weren't on speaking terms. I didn't expect her to break the sister code without a bat of an eye. The only reason why I wasn't too upset was because I found out something super weird about him, and was planning on breaking up with him myself. A few years later, I get an invite to my sister's wedding via email. As soon as I received the email, she called. She asked me to RSVP. No, the only reason she invited me was because Mom told her she had to. Izzy wanted me to tell Mom that I couldn't make it because of work, so she wouldn't have Mom put too much stress on her before the wedding. I asked her why. She said it was because I wasn't as beautiful as her. Or her bridesmaid, and it was a very posh event. Tristan's family comes from money, and she doesn't want my appearance to ruin the atmosphere. I sometimes think that my sister and I are so different that there must have been a switch at the hospital when we were born. I agree because I definitely think it's in bad taste to go to your ex's wedding. And especially if it includes your younger sister as well, I decline the invitation. I focus on work and get multiple angry calls from my mother. She gives me speeches on how family should stick together. I stop answering her calls. After the wedding and honeymoon, Izzy calls me and says some 
interesting stuff. She tells me that the reason why I couldn't work out with Tristan was because I was not the chosen one. That only the strong can be chosen, and that I was weak. My poor older sister, you will never be able to understand true love, and that is okay. Because I will experience it for the both of us. This bounding string of fate. First off, I love the whole fate speech. I also, by the way, have a boyfriend right now. Are you on drugs? Do you need an intervention? You're talking a little insane right now. Bye bye, my sad old hermit of a sister. <laughs> Don't be jealous forever. I was telling my current boyfriend, Abel, about my sister and the strange phone call. We met at an art show. He's an ancient artifact researcher, and he had a brilliant mind. He thinks it sounds like she's been taking drugs, too. I tell Abel a curveball. Well, I'm. Pretty sure Tristan's in a cult. Abel doesn't take me seriously until he sees my face. I know, I know. How can Tristan be in a cult? Also, why did I never tell Izzy? I found out one day when I was at his apartment during the time we were still dating. He had left his phone open when he went to go for a shower. And I noticed a video on pause on the screen. I snooped and noticed that the video was of him leading a cult-like speech to an audience of figures hidden by cloaks. It was an alarming bit of information, so I snooped around his place and saw books with titles on manipulation and mind training. It was right before he met Izzy, and to be fair, Izzy made her own choice on seducing Tristan. Abel was surprised when I told him, but he also gave me some mind-boggling info. Almost a whole year later, I saw my sister at a coffee place. She had lost that youthful glow she carried, and it was replaced with a thin, pale version. When she sees me, she swoops over. She tells me that Tristan is crazy. I tell her that's what happens when you date a cult leader. She is shocked that I knew, and is very angry I never told her. I didn't realize I had to share my ex-boyfriend's details with his, at the time, mistress. I take pity on Izzy. And tell her everything Abel told me about the cult. It is a one-leader-oriented cult where they deprive you of proper sleep and protein, while filling you with mostly coffee and vegetables. Coffee opens you up to the power of suggestion, and lack of protein can cause weakness and fatigue. This makes it easier for the leader, Tristan, to manipulate. She tells me she knew this all already because she is part of the cult. Most of her friends and family were tricked into becoming members as well. I feel bad for my parents, but they are old enough to make their own decisions and mistakes. Izzy yells at me for not telling her and screams at how disloyal I am. I laugh and tell her that she is on her own. After that, I do not hear from them again. I find out on the news that a local cult has been found and disbanded. Most of the members had invested a high amount of money for the cult that they can never have back. My mom and dad. Have a month of community service. Tristan is arrested for multiple accounts of fraud and tax evasion. 
he will be in prison for a couple of months. Izzy is sent to an asylum for reversion therapy. I get promoted at my law firm, and Abel and I get engaged. I will always be happy with being the boring, normal sister with a happy life. Thanks for watching! Please like and subscribe!